Graceful though eerie, sharks glide like ghosts silently through the sea. They sweep their tails back and forth, seemingly unhurried, perhaps for good reason. For fossil records prove sharks have been cruising the Earth's waters for well over 400 million years. In the relatively short time since studying them, sharks remain a mystery. However, some things are clear. Sharks come in all shapes and sizes. So far, there are over 350 known species. Scientists separate sharks into eight groups based on similar body patterns. Each group is then divided into one or more families. Sharks belong to the vertebrate class, animals with a spine. They are closely related to skates, rays, and an unusual prehistoric looking fish called the chimera. But sharks are a different kind of fish. Their scales, skeletal structure, gills, jaws, and reproductive methods all differ from other fish. At first glance, shark skin looks very soft. Yet a closer look reveals an armor of small enamel teeth-like plates called denticles. Razor sharp, these denticles can easily cut flesh and cause bleeding if the shark rubs against its victim. Unlike most fish, sharks have no bones. Instead, the shark's entire skeleton is a strong, rubbery, gristle-like cartilage which allows it to twist and turn at great angles. One obvious difference between sharks and most fish is their gills. Other fish have gill covers or plates, while sharks have five to seven exposed vent-like gill slits. To breathe, water flows in the shark's mouth and passes over the gills, which absorb oxygen. Most bony fish have an air bladder that helps maintain buoyancy and save energy. Sharks have no such bladder. In fact, many sharks sink to the bottom and drown if they stop moving. Instead, sharks have an oil-filled liver. Because oil floats in water, the liver naturally reduces a shark's weight by acting as a flotation device, similar to a life vest. The jaws of a shark are fascinating. Most other animals' upper jaw is fused to their skull but shark jaws attach to the cartilaginous skull by ligaments and muscles. This allows the entire jaw to swing out, increasing the shark's chances of capturing prey. Shark teeth vary in size and shape depending on diet. Sharks can lose thousands of teeth over a lifetime. Each new set grows larger than the one before. Surprisingly, the two largest sharks have tiny teeth. Naturally, they don't use their teeth for feeding. Instead, the whale and basking shark filter food from the water through their gill rakers. Not much is known about how sharks court, mate, and bear their young. That's because people rarely get to see them mate or give birth in the wild. One thing is certain. From courting to birthing, the process is very unusual. Millions of years have molded these magnificent creatures, still cloaked in mystery and intrigue. As scientists anxiously strive to reveal the secrets surrounding sharks, it seems a developing respect begins to challenge our fears. <laughs>